Welcome in studio, manager Jerry Horton. Jerry, welcome to the show. Thanks, Flip. Glad to be here. Oh man, it's you know what? It's been a while since I've had these manager shows, brother, and I just wanna I wanna get my steam going again. I, I just finished a show with Timothy. Unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties at the end, and I seem to be running into these technical difficulties quite often these days. <laughs> oh, yeah. it Hopefully we get through this show without any technical difficulties, but, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I just, I, I wanted to get back to, to how I started these shows and just, you know, talking with managers about this uh, wonderful game that we play. Shout out to the IWA, anyone listening, uh, we're, we're discussing, uh, an imaginary wrestling game. Uh, if you want in on the action, uh, you know, go ahead and visit playiwa.com. You can uh, see all the different leagues all the different federations all the different uh oh man all the different styles to play this game jerry i think that's what i want to focus uh this show on is uh the different play styles that uh that managers have when it comes to this game you know uh our 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 buddy our friend uh you know your co-commissioner there in the lsl timothy you know we we've uh, we decided that we don't want to call him a flutter because I don't consider Jerry necessarily a flutter. I mean, not Jerry, excuse me, Tim, a flutter, but he definitely likes to play at large. He, he He's in a lot of leagues. He's very supportive. And he, you know, he, he extends himself so much throughout this game that I, you know, I, I told him, I go, Timmy, I go, I don't see you as a flutter, you know, and not that there's anything wrong with being a flutter, but I, I, I definitely see him as an at large player. He likes to stretch his wings. He likes to be supportive uh, now yourself, Jerry, if, if, if you mind, if you don't mind me, uh, uh I, I consider you an angle base player. I, I think of you as, you know, you're very passionate. You're a small roster. I, you definitely enjoy, you know, building and building angles. And, uh, I, I think you as a commissioner, you know, have done a great job there in the LSL. And like, like I told you before we got on the, uh, on recording, the proof is in the pudding. You know, you guys, your matches continue to, to you know, you're, you're well, well over 50 every cycle from what I can tell. Oh, yeah. I definitely put a lot into into it, Tim, especially especially with Tim and everything there where, yeah, he is my co-commissioner and I'm the other commissioner. And, you know, we just put everything we can into it to make everything good. It's a good, the LSL is a good federation. I've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun. And. Having my own wrestlers in it, too, is fun because, as you mentioned before, Flip, when you do storyline angles, it's fun. You can just pick somebody and mesh with them really good because it's kind of like you're either going to mesh with them or it's going to be a flop. So, like anything else, if you pick that right person and you do the trash talking, you do the sneak attacks, and you have the matches, and you keep going with it, you know, develop some good storylines. And that's what I've enjoyed so much about it. Yeah. Now, now speaking speaking to angle based play a little bit, uh, since uh, it's uh, it's your way of playing. It's the way I see you as you know. I see you as an angle based player. There's different paces when it comes to angle based play. There's a traditional way, and and there could be more. But I, I the way I see it is I see that there's two different ways. There's a traditional way where it's strictly bulletin, so it goes back and forth within the bulletin, and I I think. Uh, I think, you know, the LSL and the AWL have developed this uh, this evolved way of trash talking that incorporates social media so much that in, in some cases, for some managers that aren't on the Facebook, that aren't on social media, I don't want to say that they miss out, but there there is a possibility that they could miss out on opportunities because, I mean, as we were mentioning right before we got on recording, you know, you and I had this interaction this past cycle that, my goodness, I mean, we went back and forth just, you know, talking and beating each other up. And it was just amazing, brother. And I, I that passion that goes behind, you know, those character interactions is just is what we live for sometimes. And it, it, there's just so much fun that comes from it. And again, not every league lends itself to that pace because, you know, for, for managers listening, you know, the AWL and the LSL run a quicker pay-per-view pace. Uh, the AWL has a pay-per-view every cycle. I know in the LSL, you guys have tried uh, every every other cycle. Is that safe to, to say? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd say definitely that's safe to say there, Flip, is what we're doing. I mean, we don't we don't do pay per views every cycle. I mean, I know the AWL likes to do that, but us, we do like I think every other cycle because, like I said, we're at a good pace and we don't want to overdo it with with pay per views because then you know people eventually will get bored with that. So Tim and I like to keep it like you know every other cycle we do a pay-per-view like we had the lethal lottery one which developed into storylines where you know we did it where we had a thing and we pulled names out of the hat and those people were tag team partners some ended up with good partners some ended up with not so good partners well let, let's uh let, let's speak a little to that pace right there uh, jerry so like uh the AWL has a lot of managers online, you know, shout out to all their managers. And uh, one of the things that, you know, their commissioner, Will Wisdom, who's been doing it for four years now, amazing, amazing job there in the AWL. And believe it or not, he has pay-per-views every cycle because he fills the card. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that alone is just, you know, amazing, brother, because, you know, he has that much manager interaction within his Facebook, within his you know, like we said, within his bubble of, of friends that he plays with, that he has that much, you know, that much interaction and that he can fill a pay-per-view with, you know, 10 plus matches every cycle. And just, you know, if you are, you know, again, shout out to Will, shout out to the AWL, you know, Will does a phenomenal job of record keeping. He has a Google Docs page that you can, uh, that you can look up has all the, you know, record keeping of how the titles exchange hands, just an amazing job. Now, on, on that same note, you guys in the LSL, no, you don't do a pay-per-view every cycle, even though the record keeping may not be as, uh, you know, th to that nature of, of the AWL, but you guys have managed to involve more angle-based play within your pace. You guys, you know, the interaction... You know, like like we have currently right now with this, uh, you know, shout out to Robert Harper and shout out to his uh, his wrestler Legion. He's been doing these amazing videos online in character. He has the mask. It's freaking awesome. You know, it's just it's it's new age even. You know, I'm just like when I saw them, I'm like, oh, dude, he's taking it. He's taking it up a level. Yeah, Robert really has done an excellent job with the Legion character. And like you said, taking he has taken it up a level flip, and I've really been impressed with what he's done because that adds a little bit more spice and flavor to not only his character, but also to the league of how he's shouting out like he's going to get people, and you're just wondering who is he going to go after? Is it going to be me? Who is he going to pick? <laughs> you know, and oh, yeah. it makes you kind of in a word in a way a little scared and a little excited at the same time. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like I said, him and I, him and I talked it out. Our two wrestlers went at it, and that was the returning Scott Pegasus Saxon and Legion. And they had a they had a pretty good match. Their first match, just one cycle, they had it went to a double disqualification. And Rob and I were talking about it and saying, "Well, if they both wouldn't have shoved the ref and punched him at the same time as well, they wouldn't have gotten double disqualified." Now, now, truth, now, truth be told, Jerry. I mean, I, I mean, you, you, and I have our fair share of interactions. I think, uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll gladly say it here on air. I think I pick on you more than any because I, I enjoy your passion, and I, and I know that I'm gonna get a reaction because you are that passionate about your fighters and about your characters. And all of a sudden, you have a three foot uh, eleven and a half midget, you know, picking on you, and you know, it, it, it's, but it's, you know, it's a uh, you know the way I see it is I know I can I know I can drive that nail because I know you as a person I know you as a friend I know you you know outside of the IWA uh, bubble so I feel comfortable driving that nail. Oh yeah. Not 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 everybody can can you know push those buttons. Not everybody because hey at the same time we've we've grown within a league like that that character has grown within the LSL you know so you, he's known as you know that type of a of a jerk that type of a nuisance that type of a irritable character you know so oh yeah yeah definitely i mean 
those are good. Like I said, I have a fun time with that too. You know, like I said, the Pip Squeak and Ellie May and all the different characters, you know, like Pip Squeak, he's one of those guys who definitely can get a rise out of anybody. And you always notice how somebody, if it's not one of my guys, beating him up each cycle. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and, he, can... and he, he deserves every steel chair or every, uh, every power bomb he gets. Let me tell you. <laughs> or every handicap match he gets put into. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And that's one of those things too, because it gets a reaction that people are wondering, Oh yeah. Pip squeaks mad. Now he had to face triple a and a, handicap match and he got his butt kicked yep that's what he did and, running his mouth yeah running his mouth stealing things breaking into somebody's house and we who we did, pip squeak did that no not pip squeak i, I love the, i love the picture <laughs> i've seen the picture oh my goodness and yeah, now, like now that it, I, now, now that i have you on air what what was the what was the what the what was the in, initial reaction when you saw that picture you're like oh my goodness I was shocked. I was like, "What the heck?" Oh my, yeah that 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 Pipsqueak will definitely, uh, yeah. A again, and and all in good fun. Again, we we play this game, you know, to to get away from our day to day, you know, day to day lives or whatever. You know, we had a rough day at work, you know, so we we play this game to let loose and oh, yeah. in a healthy way. You know, I I think uh, uh, we we mentioned uh, and and you know to get back to. Uh, the character uh, involvement and the character interactions, you know, we mentioned that, you know, within your league, because this is your league, you're the commissioner, you get to do, you get to choose and decide, you know, your commissioner titles. Now the front page of the LSL that's decided by the number game that, you know, if you're, if you're in this game to support and you want a chance to, you know, win that, the, the league title and win, you know, the tag and the six, you know, but again, oh. aside from that, you know, you guys have done a great job of uh, bringing your own commissioner titles and having your own, you know, your own titles contested in an, in its own unique way. So if you don't oh. mind, if I can if I can pick your brain as to uh, what commissioner titles you have here in the LSL and, and uh, maybe speak a little as to how they're how they're contested or how you guys, uh, you know, is it. Uh, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm going to say it like like I did it in the in the MML. When I was in oh. the MML, I, I had a couple of friends that I, that was playing within that league, and I would I would sometimes you know play favorites. I'm not going to lie, I, I I'll be guilty of that. Like I I put some of my friends into title matches maybe because I wanted to see them there. Maybe you know, hey, let's let's I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not the best at the number game. I I, I you know shout out to those managers that you know, are, are paying attention to the drops. Shout out to those managers that track holds and are playing this game at a higher level in that numbers game than me because I, I suck, <laughs> plain and simple. But at the same oh, time, right. I still want to have fun. So the way I was having fun is I was making these little commissioner shows and I was, you know, putting myself in into titles because I still wanted to trash talk and I wanted to gloat about something. So I, I would give myself a title. I would give myself an opportunity just to be able to, Kind of, kind of the way Pips Week is right now in the LSL, claiming to be the what? Yeah, the king. He's claiming to be the king, and <laughs> Ellie Mae's wife or whatever is, is being the queen. I'm like, okay, whatever. I was gonna say <laughs> what a, a a butter. Oh yeah, they. You know what? And and th that's just you know that's just part of the angle, part of the you know he's just you know he's as much of a king as Jerry Lawler was, you know. Oh yeah. Oh man. But yeah. Um, a lot of the commissioner titles, really, you know, we try to make those as fair as possible. I mean, for for example, I'll use this one that Tim came up with the idea with was the World Diamond Drop title, which right now is the champion, I believe, is Catfish John. And Tim decided to give everybody a fair chance. He's going to pick one of the the lowest wrestlers. Let's say he picked Cruz Missler one time for the person that they had to beat in so many amount of seconds, and it ended up being awesome Mina Colossus. So she got the World Diamond Drop title shot at the pay-per-view against at Hallow Wicked against Catfish John, and Catfish John retained. Okay, nice, now... Nice. So, so it, was kind has, of, it, it was kind of like, hey, you know what? Uh, and I hate to call them a scrub, but one of the scrubs or one of the jobbers yeah. was selected, and whoever could beat them the fastest was going to yeah. get that opportunity. Yeah, nice. I, was I was close. 
I was close, but Mina ended up beating me, I think, by maybe five minutes or so, you know, nice. whatever, or five se- five or ten seconds, something like that. And okay, I was cool so, with so, that. Okay. I mean, I mean that's, and that, that sounds fair. Everybody has an equal opportunity. There's not, like I said, you, you, weren't, you weren't doing the IWA flip there and showing favoritism. It's like, hey, there it is. Sign the match. Get your shot. Yeah. And Tim was very vocal about it. He said, either put, I'll tell you which one's going to be, which it was Cruz Missler. You can either put it down as a beat the clock or when you choose the 20 lowest wrestlers to face, you're automatically in it. So, and he'll look it over and see who had the fastest time. And it was Mina Colossus, which was, which was fair. And I agreed with Tim. You're right. She's got a shot and that's fair. And that, and that was pretty good. I like how Tim did that. Now, now this is, uh, this is the diamond drop. So this is one of the commissioner titles. This is the yes. top commissioner title, or? Yeah, this is the world diamond drop title. It's the very top title for the commissioner's title, the LSL. And like I said, we do a beat, Tim does a beat the clock challenge where he'll tell you which scrub that you have to beat in a certain amount of seconds or whatever to earn your shot at the world diamond drop champion at the pay per view. And right. now, that, now the fair. now peep now yeah oh yeah I think that's totally fair now, uh, the diamond drop is only contested at the pay per views so every other cycle more or less. Yes, it's a nice. the, the pay per views unless unless let's say somebody requests they get their shot early and if Tim agrees on it, and the person's wrestler agrees on it too. Okay, yeah, well we can do it next cycle or you can wait to the pay per view. It don't matter. But it's up to Tim. He's he's got the overall saying because he's the heavyweight guy. Nice. Now I I think uh, I think with uh, with the so you guys have a couple other titles there, right? A couple other commissioner titles. Yes, we have the six pack challenge titles, which are basically Triple A or the champions. They beat the commissioners for it, and they ended up becoming the champs. So. Since I'm the since I'm the tag team, my, Mad Dog Mikey's the tag team guy. He can do six man ones too as well. I got per, I got permission to do that as one of the matches that I could choose. So they're going to defend their titles probably. I want to say next cycle because those are ones are exceptions to the rule too. Next cycle, and I put a makeshift team together. I want to see how they get along. Nice. It's going to be it's going to be from Bad Karma and the Bunny Trio, the Bunny Goddess, 10K Bullfrog Bob is going to be another one, and Salvation's Crazy Chad Red. I want to see oh, how man. they're going to do. Yeah, that's a that, that's an eclectic group right there. <laughs> I mean, you got a group of former champions right there together from different from different factions. I want to see how they get along, and I want to see how Triple A does it does against them because Triple A they're the champs. Okay, now prove you deserve the titles. Nice. Now I, I know I know some managers listening. You know they you know obviously uh, they they probably don't know who those characters are. But uh, the one thing I do enjoy about the LSL is that you have a good group of characters. I mean, you know, shout out to the the close friends that we have here in the LSL. Shout out to Catfish, uh, Timmy, Rob, Shane, uh, Chris Schmidt. You know, shout out to you know Dennis, you know Mark, and and anyone I'm leaving out. It's not not on purpose, but there's there's such a nice close you know group that that makes up this uh, LSL group, and uh, and we just added a few. I mean, so so just you know you know shout out to those two new managers. You know Jason, Victor. If you guys are listening, you know welcome welcome to the show. You know glad to have you here because it, I mean, and this is uh, I think the best way to say this, uh, Jerry, is you know kudos to you guys because you've built a platform that's attracting talent. Oh yeah. I mean, we, we started off where it was basically, we didn't have hardly anything. And then we started doing these storylines, different things. And we, and then people started joining like, Hey, the LSL is the place to go. We were getting more and more people and it's been a blast. I mean, we've got a lot more stars now, a lot more talented people who play the game and it's making it exciting. I mean, trash talk's gotten better and better. It just, everything's going good. We ended up in the top 10 
for top leagues. We were number 10. And that's, nice. that's a, that's a first for us for the LSL. Nice. I mean, congrats brother. Oh, thank you. And I got to thank, you know, Tim and I got to thank Shane for that too. And one thing that's, that's great now is to have, have Rob aboard, Robert Harper aboard, you know, a good friend of ours from the NWL days as well. And Robert has such a good insight. I want to see, you know, what, what he can bring to the table, which I think is going to be spectacular. I mean, he's running that cruiserweight division. And let's, he, uh, let, let, let's get it. Let's get in a little more to this because, uh, you know, there's a lot of leagues out there that are ran by one commissioner. And, and again, nothing, I, I, I see what Will had, has done in the AWL for all this time. I know it can be done, but to get a supporting cast, you know, I know, I know Timothy has real recently gone in and he's, uh, He's, uh, you know, supporting uh, Will with, with running the cruiserweight. I know you just mentioned Robert is running your cruiserweight here in the in the LSL. And mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Catfish uh, Double R, uh, Rob Ratliff, is the commissioner of the women's division still? Is that? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's another guy I really want to thank because he's doing a great job running that division. And he's been fair. You know, it's he's given everybody opportunities. He says, well, if you want an opportunity, then just ask. You know, I mean, we're we're the same way. We're all just the same way. Like, if you want an opportunity, then ask him. We'll give you a match. Prove yourself. And if you win, then, yeah, you're going to get in there. You know, we're not going to hand anything out for free. you got to earn it. Oh, no. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, I think the respect factor also comes into play where, you know, hey, you know what? It, it, you know how to reach us. I mean, that that's the one thing about the about the league. It does have a social media group. It does have a way of interacting. You know, manage manager. So don't don't be afraid of uh, reaching out to one of the commissioners and saying, hey, brother, you know, can we work something out? Maybe I get a shot at at X Y Z. And like you said, Jerry, you know, you're going to give them that opportunity as long as as long as it's within the you know. You know, don't don't all of a sudden come in and say you want a shot at the diamond drop when, you know, we have a, a big crew, you know, here waiting for their shot. You know, so, you know, obviously, you know, within within means, within a reasonable means, we can make that title shot happen. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we've I mean, we've got we've like I say we've got the title page and we also got the commissioner's titles, which we do notice everybody and we do take things under advisement, you know, we see, you know, what matches like, I mean, I can take, for example, like, let's say if Switchblade wrestled Pipsqueak, for example, and it was, and he went out there and he ended up beating Pipsqueak, and that was going to determine, like, you know, who would face the cruiserweight champ, for example, and let's say it's, like I said, of course, Ricky the Fox Steamboat, but, you know, there was a situation where Switch where Switchblade did face somebody, I don't remember who, he won that opportunity. So he's facing Ricky the Fox Steamboat for the Cruiserweight title because he beat somebody. It was in one of our cycles where he beat the person, and he's the one who's going to face Ricky the Fox Steamboat. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, like I said, opportunities will be presented. As long as you win your opportunity, hey, you're going to get that shot. And I think I think that's fair. It's a, it's a fair way to play. Now, again, different commissioners, different ways of uh, – of quote unquote of being fair because again some some commissioners have a little more uh how can you say it you know I, well I'll, and again I'll, i always refer back to the leagues that i'm in because that's where i play you know like uh, like the rwl uh you know one of the commissioners there uh what he does or commissioner sean mackaby there uh he'll he'll pick three random numbers so he'll ask his friends uh either at home or someone that doesn't know anything about the IWA, he'll ask them to pick a number, and he, he has, you know, a random factor. And now based on that, he, he picks and chooses who's going to be in, in the, in the three-way uh, triple threat match, you know, for the number one spot. So he, oh, adds, yeah. he adds his own randomness. And again, just, you know, like anything else, or over in, uh, in the UNL, how they base it based on, you know, the average of the last five cycles. So that, you know, commissioner, you know, shout out to commissioner Scott Anderson. So the, every commissioner does it in a different way. And again, there's nothing wrong with the way you do it, you know, 
because again, every league is different. And that's, that's the one thing about the IWA that I enjoy is that there's no right way to do it. You know, uh, I, I definitely want to shout out, uh, you know, one of the new leagues, uh, the N- NBL, you know, shout out to a uh, new commissioner there, uh, you know, shout out to Tommy for, you know, taking that, that league under his wing and now he, he's doing it his way. And again, I, you know, oh. hopefully, hopefully one of these days we, you know, we get Tommy on and get, get a little more insight as to, as to the NBL and, and his way of running uh, a league. But again, I, it just, there's so many different uh, managers out there, so many different ways to play this game, Jerry. And I, I, I definitely enjoy your passion, brother. I, I hope managers that get to interact and get to meet you actually, you know, you know, you know, get, get to know your passion because again, everybody plays this game differently. You know, I, I'm, this is definitely no diss on the players that are playing this game at large because I, I definitely want to get them on and, you know, get, get their, uh, get their two cents in on our show. Because again, I want this show to be, you know, IWA wide base, you know, cause there's so many ways, you know, that people play this game. You know, I, I want everybody's, uh, everybody have their fair say, you know, shout out, shout out at this time. I also want to shout out the LPL, you know, uh, commissioner, uh, Trevor Riley runs a stat based league. He's a numbers guy. He loves numbers, brother loves it. Oh, yeah. You know, so he, he has, you know, these record keepings of all the six man of all, you know, and, uh, how many people like, 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 let's, let's say for instance, uh, a group like your bunny trio right now in a oh, league, yeah. like in a league, like his, they're going to have, you know, their own record like as if they were a singles and he keeps all the records brother and it's just amazing you know shout out again shout out to the lpl for for their style of play and again you know shout out to those managers that are playing at large that are playing you know for the iwa quote unquote the underground you know numbers or you know shout out to mike cook who runs uh runs the number game there because they track report hits Oh yeah, they don't That's care cool. about in league stuff whatsoever. Or, or I don't, I, I don't want to say they don't care about in league stuff because you know I, I don't know that much about them. You know, but I do know that they put a big emphasis on the on that report on winning that report hit. You know, they want the IWA World, they want uh, the US title, they want all those you know IWA regionals and you know to be on that report. And and shout out because that's again that's another side of the game. Me personally, I suck. I'm not even going to pretend I'm in that realm. But I do enjoy this game in league wise. I do enjoy the angle base. I do enjoy players like yourself, Jerry, that bring a, a passion to the game that reminds me of, of you know, it reminds me of just, you know, of of being in a wrestling match. I being in within, you know, I never I know I was never talented enough to become a wrestler. So I never had that opportunity. But when I can get on and trash talk as if I was. It brings me good memories, you know. It, it you know, it, it makes it makes it exciting for me to be able to get on and and portray a character like Pipsqueak, and just you know, even though he's annoying, but you know, I definitely can you know, I can definitely enjoy that because I I remember characters like the Doink, I remember characters like you know Repo Man who would sneak around and you know I remember yeah. these characters, you know I remember those those silly that silly side of the of wrestling. And, you know, I, I want to bring a little of that to the game, so. Yeah, and it's like, you know, I remember that. That's what I like about it, too. Because that's a lot of stuff that I was watching as a teenager where you saw guys, like you mentioned, like Doink the Clown and Repo Man. And I remember Papa Shango. He was yeah. another one. <laughs> yeah. Skinner was another one. And yeah, and, and and you, I mean, it was a different time. You know, it was a different time to watch wrestling. I mean, it, wrestling itself has has evolved, you know, tremendously. And you know, again, there's some great characters out there. You know, shout out to all the wrestling fans out there because wrestling continues to evolve. And uh, but I, I think I think we I think we you know by bringing some of these characters that are off the wall, and I, I want to bring uh, you know, I, I want to bring Robert Harper's uh, Legion character right now because. I mean, he's just doing some great stuff. I wanna, I wanna, you know, I, I can't wait to see what happens this next pay per view. I'm on, I'm in suspense right now because, yeah, that, that's one of those angles that I've been following closely and you know, and very invested in. So, can't wait. Yeah, he's got no Legion's got noticed in a lot of things. Like I said, he um, he's definitely him and Scott Pegasus Saxon have definitely had their wars, and that's gotten noticed. A lot of people have noticed that, and everything where their matches have spoken for themselves and 
all that, and they're just tuning it up, and they've both had trash talk towards each other. And oh yeah, and they, and and they're two new fate. I mean, both of them are are t- uh, two new characters here in the LSL. You know, compared to the the catfish robs, compared to the the BTYs, compared to the sloth, and you know the AAA oh, yeah. guys. You know, we've had characters that have been here from the initiation, so it's awesome to see those characters come in and and you know kind of change the landscape. You know, at this time of the year where things may have kind of just died out or or gotten slow, then all of a sudden you get someone like Legion, someone like you know like uh, like Saxon who's just ready to turn it up and it's just it's amazing brother it really is yeah and it really is i like the way things are going and you know like i said we've had a lot of people stepping up to the plate which is nice because oh, yeah. they're, they're they're showing their talents i've heard more from sloth than anything which is good oh yeah, yeah. i mean and and shout out you know shout out to paul i i, I left him out when i was uh when i was running our, our managers down you know like i said there's there's some managers that play exclusively in the bulletin. I know, I know he's recently, uh, like I said, we, our schedules kind of went different directions. So I, I hardly see him anymore, but at the same time, I know he wants to get on, uh, on this show. So hopefully we can get him on, get a little more insight as to his, uh, his play style, but he's another one that's just character based, you know, like, uh, like you and I, you know, more than, more than anything. Oh yeah. I like the character based type of things because, in that situation, you've got to get yourself noticed. You've got to have a backstory with yourself and let everybody know who you are. Because if you don't, people are going to just be scratching their head and lose interest. Like, I don't want to see this person. We don't know anything about them. I mean, like Legion, he's mysterious. You know, he does these videos. He shows up and says what he's going to do. He's keeping people glued. Like, who the heck is this guy? He wears a mask. We don't know who he is. Oh, yeah. And and then you get you get one of my guys, Scott Pegasus Saxon, who is tired of hearing him run his mouth and then decides to challenge him. And they have a lot of good matches and everything like that. And they keep the trash talk going. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, shout out to those angles that we've had. I mean, I know uh, Catfish and Bullfrog have gone at it since as far back as I can remember. I mean, I know they continue to go back, even though I think – Catfish has pretty much wiped the floor with him, you know, I think like seven to two or seven. I mean, that's not, that's yeah. not to make fun. That's not to make fun of Paul. I know he's getting used to the game. He's, he, you know, he hasn't been in the game as long as, uh, as, uh, the legend, uh, Catfish Rob, but I, I, I definitely know Catfish has gotten the better of him. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, but Paul still brings his guys at him. Paul, yeah, oh, yeah. that's, what I admire. that's what I admire about him. I mean, you know, you could lose four to seven times or whatever. And then you can get some wins. You're making some good progress there. You're not quitting. You could say, oh, heck, this guy isn't worth my time. Well, don't you want to get that first win, at least get a win on him to where he's like, well, he got a win over me. Oh, that was lucky. And then you beat him again. He's like, what the heck? Yeah. You so know? now now, now I read I read the trash talk for this past cycle, and I saw that uh, I, at first I, I, I thought it was weird because it said Catfish Bullfrog or Catfish Bob. Yeah, I thought I said that too, Catfish Bob. Right. So, and then it, it, then I read it, and at the end, he, he he basically basically just wants in on him just to kind of get an insight into the Catfish Gang, and then he's going to turn his back on him. I'm like, this son of a, this son of a. Yeah. Yeah, like, he's gonna all, he's all, gonna turn on him. All all of a sudden, I thought he was turning a turning a leaf and uh, and, and going to go you know go face, and then at the end, he he turned into his usual bullfrog Bobish. Oh yeah, oh man. But but those angles like that is what keeps me invested, keeps me interested in in a league like uh, like the LSL, brother. Again, uh, I want to want to you know end this show by just you know shouting you out. You know, keep your passion. You know, keep everything you're doing with the LSL going, brother, because it, it, it's amazing. The again, like I told you before, the numbers say it all. You guys got a great uh, great ratings, great numbers, great cards. You know, keep it up. People wouldn't stay here if they didn't like it. You know, there's there, there's just there's just too many leagues to play in, Jerry. So if they if they weren't comfortable here with what you guys are doing, they would have been gone a long time ago. And, oh yeah, uh, definitely. You know, shout out shout out to all those managers that support. Like I said, I, I definitely want to shout out uh, Robbie Blood, who's one of the at large uh, managers that plays within uh, the LSL. We we definitely don't want to ignore the at large players, but there's just so many angle based players here. It's hard to give everybody 
you know, the, the, the attention, you know, because, you know, I, I hate to play favorites, but yeah, sometimes, you know, unfortunately that's, you know, that's what happens. And we have our friends that are in this league. Not that, not that you're not a friend, but there's just, you know, there's there's a tight knit group that plays within this uh, league that I definitely, uh, you know, that keep keep the keep the fire, keep the drive going with the angle based. If you know, if you do want to get involved with the angle based, join the Facebook group. You can see how many interactions are going on. And uh, yeah, my goodness, is is there anybody that I'm forgetting that's in the league uh, that we haven't mentioned, brother? I I, I know we mentioned uh, Mark and Dennis. Uh, shout out! We shouted out the two new guys. You know, definitely got our our usual suspects that we uh, you know, shout out to the managers that we don't know. Shout out to uh, the Merc Monster. Shout out to Triple A. Shout out to all these managers that you know we haven't had a chance of meeting. You guys are definitely welcome. Uh, welcome here, and uh, we we definitely want to get to know you guys. You know, a little deeper. So hopefully, uh, when we post this show, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link in my trash talk so everybody hopefully can you know. You know, give this show a thumbs up and and you know listen to what we got to say because I think it's important and healthy uh, that we get to know one another as uh, individuals uh, other than just uh, a name in a bulletin. Definitely, I agree. I agree with you on that, Flip. It's one of those things, brother, where you know we should get to know get to know one another, basically outside of the IWA. You know, whether it's the AWLSL, IWL, it don't matter. You know what league you're in. Get to know who you're, who you're playing against, and everything. Because I've seen a lot of things happen where even people being hurt online. On, I mean, there's some people. I'm just, I'm got a respect for them. I'm not gonna bring up their names, but I've seen feelings get hurt, and I've seen, you know, attitudes get really, really hyped up. And it's like, come on, guys. You know, we are having fun. We're trying to have fun. If you guys have any grievances, just take it up with each other on a private message and talk. Exactly. You know, let's not bring it into the rest. There is there is a, a grown up way to handle it. Exactly. Yes. We don't we I don't mean, need any uh we don't need any Montreal screw jobs up in here. <laughs> no, no more Montreal screw jobs. I saw the Montreal screw job, and I'll tell you what, I my job was still I was trying to pick it up off the ground, and it was yeah. hard. Oh man, yeah that 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 was just a video. When I look back, just the look on uh, on Brett's face, man, my goodness, yeah, we definitely don't need that in in our wrestling ring. No, we don't need that at all because you know that that's one thing when it happened all those years ago that upset a lot of fans, and I believe I know I was one of them. Yeah, it yeah. It, 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 it can escalate real quickly, brother, but. Jerry, again, uh, I'd love to have you on sometime. Like I said, we can we can get a little more in depth into, you know, some of the some of the inner league stuff. But I definitely want managers, you know, just to get to know you a little more, know your passion. I, I do, like I said, I do appreciate that passion that, you know, goes you know from uh, from your personality onto the pages of the IWA. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, look up the LSL Facebook group. You know, you know, support the LSL and all the other wonderful. Uh, angle-based mad, uh, leagues out there. But, uh, Jerry, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign this one off. And then, uh, like I said, you're always welcome on this show if you ever have something to to shoot uh, shoot or whatever you want to do, brother. Well, thank you, Flip. I appreciate it. And thank you for having me on your show. I'd like to definitely come back on again. And I want to meet some managers, too, and talk with them as well. And like I said, if I ever want to shoot on something, I'll I'll definitely get a hold of you and everything and i'll say what i have to say you you know it brother you're always welcome on you guys have been listening to the voice of iwa flip and uh jerry horton commissioner of the lsl and probably one of the most passionate uh, managers in the game uh till next time guys we'll see you see you guys later <laughs>